The video today is to calculate the average fluid velocity in a pipe in terms of the volumetric flow rate of the fluid in steady turbulent flow. So this is a circumstance that's very common when using the mechanical energy balance. So we're talking about turbulent flow in a pipe. So I'll draw a pipe of an arbitrary cross-sectional area with fluid coming through it. I'll call the cross-sectional area A cross-section. And I'll call the volumetric flow rate capital V dot. So that's volume per time. Maybe it has units of meters cubed per second. So in steady turbulent flow, that would result in there being a very constant velocity profile. So all the fluid would be moving at the average velocity. So I'll call the average velocity uh, the average like this, that would have units of something like meters per second, and the area of the cross section would have units something like meters squared. So we wanna relate the average velocity and the volumetric flow rate. So we just think about a time interval, let's say a time interval delta T, and fluid passing through the pipe. So it has to pass through uh, some portion of the pipe, and so it would look a little bit like this. There would be fluid entering and exiting. And over the time interval delta T, um, the fluid would travel a distance L, which would be the average velocity times the time interval. Okay, so this is meters per second. In so many seconds, it would go so many meters. The cross-sectional area is AXS, the cross-section of the pipe. So we can calculate the volume of the fluid that passes through the cross section in the time interval delta t. So the volumetric flow rate would be that volume divided by delta t. So we have the volume of fluid that passes through the cross section would just be the area of this right circular cylinder. So that's the area of the base times the height. So there's the volume. Let's check the units, meter squared, meter per second, times second, so meters cubed, good. And then to get V, we're just going to move the delta T to the other side. So the um, volumetric flow rate, the volume per time, is going to be volume times the time interval. And so that's just going to be AXS average V. So it's a very simple relationship, um, but sometimes it's one that we miss. We can always calculate for turbulent, for steady turbulent flow, we can calculate the volumetric flow rate uh, from the cross-sectional area times the average velocity, or conversely, we could calculate the average velocity as the volumetric flow rate divided by the cross-sectional area. That's a really useful relationship in, for steady turbulent flow because we often have, are able to measure the volumetric flow rate, we know the cross-sectional area, and that allows us to get the average velocity. Again, this is limited to turbulent flow, steady turbulent flow, but that is a very common circumstance in engineering practice.